So yeah, motivation was, was very key. Motivation and inspiration, very key in my life. I was in a big state of depression, you know, not knowing what I wanted to do, not trusting myself. And I just had to find a way to get motivated just to start, just to start really. Because without that motivation, you can't even start. Yeah. And you're basically stand still. So I started like watching YouTube videos, channels I love, like Darian Ryder, Freely, One Minute a Day. Just to get that inspiration, and then I read books, listened to audiobooks constantly every day, put in the earphones, and just reprogram my mind with inspiration and motivation. Mm. And that kind of just got me started to get on YouTube, start my own business, yeah. write ebooks. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds cool, man. So, For me, motivation <laughs> was a little bit different because I always wanted to be successful. So that's the thing that motivated me. Um, I always knew I wanted to start my own business. The thing I didn't know was how I was going to do it. You know, so I did the, all the standard stuff. I went to university. I got my degree. I um, I got into jobs straight out of university. You know, I just I just started working, um, and I had absolutely no idea how I was going to start my own business. But I always knew I had this goal of starting my own business. Um, and when I look back at my journey. Um, I don't really feel like the information I got out of university was all that helpful, but what I, what I did find was helpful was that it got you um, actually interested in hitting deadlines and meeting your goals, you know, achieving things. I thought I got more out of that than the actual information that was given in the courses. Do you know what I mean? So, yes. um, I got into the rat race, I started working 9 to 5, and, you know, I was motivated to be successful. That was my motivation. And so I got really successful at pretty much every job that I did. You know, I guess that's where my, motiv my motivation was there from the beginning. I just didn't know what I wanted to do or how I was going to get there. And then the inspiration came from my brother. And, you know, I feel like everything I did leading up to that moment was training you know, because I've done the sales part, I've done I've done training for other people, I've done projects in business. I've I pretty much I've just been through every different aspect of the business that I worked in, and I know how it ran. So for me, starting up a business was really easy, and understanding yeah. how a business works is really easy because I, I I kind of went through the internals of the business that I worked in. Um, so I felt like it was just a big training ground for achieving the pur my purpose now. It's a good way to look at it, man. Yeah, yeah. About perspective. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I think everything that you do and you learn is, is building you up, you know, to achieve that purpose. And it's up to you whether you pick up on those cues, you know, like if you pick up on those moments or those coincidences that I call them, that you go, should I follow that or am I just going to let it go? Hmm. You know, you, there are times in your life where you can actually just take action, you know, or just say, oh, nah, it's too risky, I'm not going to do it. And then you just stay in your normal, comfortable sort of world, I guess, where you're not really living, you're just kind of just getting by. Just existing. Yeah, I guess existing. Exactly. Opportunity, that's where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be aware of it. You know, it's like that's somebody that's some people's goals, man, just to try to scrape up enough money to pay bills. You ask yeah. them, you know, what they're gonna do, and they say that. But that's not how we're supposed to live, man. No, man. Not at all. Not at all. Abundance. 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 Yeah, I completely agree in abundance, yeah. man. That's that was one of my motivations as well as abundance. Not living, you know, with the bear. Of course, it's gonna be minimalist, but I also with that, I also want to achieve for abundance. Yeah, as well. for sure. So yeah. For sure, yeah. for sure. And if you if you listen to any of the people that have achieved significant success, they all say it's an abundant life. You know, you don't have right. to sacrifice one thing for the other. And a lot of people think they need to. You know, you don't have to sacrifice your financial goals for your social goals, or you no. know, your goals to help other people. You don't have to sacrifice finances for those things. I think, in fact, if you have more finances, that gives you much better ability to help others. Mm -hmm. I personally yeah. know that's the truth. Yeah, um, you can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, why not? <laughs> your vegan, win -win situation. vegan cake, of Weakers. course. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, maybe. Or my fruit cake. <laughs> <laughs> <Your> fruit cake. 